me. Get away from me with that pail of water. I'll kill you. Get that thing. Let's settle down and stop fighting. She started it. That looks neat. Can I try it, Daddy? Maybe in a couple years, if we ever get a motorboat. Can we go to the camp one summer? I bet they'd show us there. Well, I don't know about that. Hang in there, Delores. You're doing great. You can't be stopped now. Hey, Craig, how about letting me take her on one, huh? Come on, Marianne. You know I can't do that. Well, don't be such a stiff. I know how to drive these things. My old man's got one twice as big. Yeah, and is your old man going to give me a job when I get fired? Lighten up, will you? No one's going to see his way out here. Huh? You little <laughs> schemers. Come on, please. All right. Super. But look, just for a minute. Not too fast. Hey, John, we got to go meet the doc. John! Almost 4.30. Doc's going to be here soon. <laughs> Come on, fellas. Dr. Thomas is on the way up. Aunt Martha's coming? Is Ricky coming, too? No, I'm afraid he's spending the weekend with his father. You look like a thief. Chips? 
Why, of course. I believe there's a whole bag. Well, I'm almost sure of it. Angela, isn't there anything special my little girl would care for? Hmm? We gotta go, Mom. It's getting late. Why, of course you do, dear. We wouldn't want them to leave without us, now would we? No? No, I'm afraid that that wouldn't do. Come, children. Let's be on our way. Now what? I believe that I've forgotten something. Now what can it be? Oh, I remember what it is. I knew I wouldn't forget. I just kept reminding myself. In fact, I tied a string around... around my finger so I wouldn't forget. See? And I didn't. You never can be too careful. Oh. Well, what is it already? Oh! Just a moment. I'll be right back. Good old mom's at it again. Here they are, all filled out and signed by yours truly. Wasn't that nice of me, hmm? What are they? Why, they're your physicals, of course. We can't go to camp without our physicals now, can we? Just be careful not to tell anyone how you got them. Oh, no, no, I'm afraid that they wouldn't approve of that at all. Even though they know that I am a doctor. No matter what they do, I'll never tell. Oh, you're such a dear. Well, run along now. So long, Mom. Goodbye, my angel. I hope you have a good time, but of course you will. Take good care of my little girl, Richard. Goodbye, Mom. Goodbye, dear. Even understand what's on your mind. Then, good buddy, there ain't no such thing as being too young. You're just too old. <laughs> Great to see you. Good winner? Ah, uh, you know, same old shit. Hey, this is my cousin Angela. How are you doing? She's kind of shy, I guess. You know, first time away from home. Listen, I gotta take her down to a bunk, so I'll catch you down the hill, okay? You got it. Hey, Rick! Wait till you get a load of Judy! Man, oh man! Oh, yeah? You'll see. Me and Judy were steady last summer. Hey, you'll probably be in the same cabin. These are all the girls' cabins. Over there is the rec hall. Next to that's Ronnie's shack. Behind that's the archery range. There she is. Judy! Yo, Judy! How you doing? All right. I guess I'm not good enough for her anymore. Well, 
Well, here you go, Angela. If you need anything, I'll be in bunk 19 below, second from the bottom. Who were those guys? Just some boys I met today. Weren't they a little old for you? Don't you know girls mature before boys? That's bullshit and you know it. Ricky, I don't have time for your nonsense right now. Well, excuse me, bitch. All right, ladies, let's hurry it up and unpack so we can get these trunks the hell out of here. By the way, for those of you who don't know, the name is Meg. M-E-G. This here is Susie. You got any problems, this is the complaint department. Got it? Okay? Capiche? What are you looking at? Taking pictures? Quit it! You must be Angela. Remember, Ronnie spoke to us about her. Looks like we got a real winner here. You ain't kidding. Tells me you haven't eaten much since you've been here. Is that true? You won't get a peep out of this one. She hasn't said a word in three days. I'll tell you what, how about if you and me take a walk into the kitchen, see if we can find you something you like. That sound okay? I'm gonna take her inside to see Audie. She'll be all right. Probably a little homesick is all. Come on, Angela. Starting to spoil a little brat already. Then, what are you, man? Yoddy, can I see you for a minute, please? Yoddy, you a little more discreet than Vic, can eh? Sure, Ron. What's up? Hey, why don't you do one of our new campers? Angela, this is Audio, head chef. Well, hello there, Angela. You get that, Ben, please? As you can see, she isn't very talkative. In fact, she isn't much of a fan of your cooking, either. You think you can find something for us, some ice cream or, you know. Bone for you and Mel, Ron. Let me a favor, get Mel, will you? See what you do, okay, Audie? I'll catch you later. No problem. I'll find something she likes. I bet we can find something interesting in the walk-in. You never know what you can find in there. Where's my cousin? Ronnie took her into the kitchen. She eat anything? What do you think? What's her problem, anyway? She don't eat, she don't talk, she don't do anything. Why don't you leave her alone? She's just quiet. If she were any quieter, she'd be dead. <laughs> <laughs> so, Angela, see anything you like? Maybe I can help you decide. You sure are a sweet-looking little cupcake, Angela. I got something you're gonna like real good. Hey, what are you doing? Keep your mouth shut, hear me? I didn't see nothing. Got it, nothing. Yeah, sure. Whatever you want. Now get the hell out. Thanks, what up? What was that all about? Guess I scared him. What 
check on the water? About done over here. God damn water better be done. It's been on a half hour. Oh, shit! Give me that goddamn chair. All yours, my good man. Still got a couple minutes to go. I'm gonna grab some hay for dinner. You coming? Yeah, after I throw the corn in. See you later. Make a nice ice cream sundae, okay? Hey, what the, what the hell are you doing? Oh, you little shit! When you get down from me, I'm gonna rip your fucking head off! Man, help, man! Man, get the hell out of here! Man! Help, man! 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 sedative strong enough to mask the kind of agony he's in right now. Every nerve in his body must feel like it's on fire. What's the prognosis, Doc? Well, he's badly burned all over, especially his face. How about his eyes? Too early to tell. Jesus, the pain must be incredible. Poor guy must be going crazy. Hmm. Yeah, if he's lucky. Look, can we move this along, please? Um, there's no need to upset the campers, right? Well, I guess I'll be on my way. Now what? Now we get this ambulance out of here as quickly as we can. Why? It was only an accident. Because I don't want the kids or their parents to know that this ever happened. You understand? What about them? Don't worry. I'll take care of them. It's a real shame what happened to Hardy in here. In the future, I hope the rest of you be more careful. Ben, guess that makes you the head man here now, doesn't it? I wasn't thinking much about myself, Mr. Costick. I just don't see how something like that could happen. Come on now, Ben. We still got a camp to feed here now, don't we? Yes, sir. Besides, 50 bucks more a week can't be all that bad now, can it? No, sir. I always thought he had a little devil in him. <laughs> and $15 a week more for the rest of you? Huh? That's real generous of you, sir. Well, no. Ben, there is one thing, though. There's really no reason for the campers to find out what happened. You know what I mean? It's too, um, gruesome. 
I think. So why don't we just say that Artie found himself another job, should anybody happen to ask? Sure, sure. Whatever you say, sir. Good. And do me a favor, tell your friends here to say the same thing. You don't have to worry none about them. Good. Thanks, Ben. I knew I could count on you. What do you say we get dinner going here, huh? Right away, sir. Mind over matter is the key. Mind over matter says that even the incredibly simple task of a single sit-up should be impossible should the mind will it. Come on, there's no way. Shut up, Mozart, and concentrate. Concentrate on summoning all your strength for this single sit-up. And you will be amazed when the time comes that although the body is willing, the mind refuses. I will now count to three. On three, you will concentrate all your strength and only to see the folly of it all. Concentrate, dear boy. I cannot stress this enough. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. I shall now begin the count. One. Two. Three. You guys are gross. <laughs> God, don't tell me Mozart fell for the old mind over matter trick. Oh, not Mozart. He's too swift for that. Hey, listen, everybody grab your glove. The games are on. They're gonna play us? Right now. I got five bucks riding on you guys, so don't lose. No sweat, Gene. We're gonna kick their asses. All right, you better. Let's go. Come on, Ricky, babe. Save me my ups. Hey, big man! You and your boys want to place a little wager while the game is still close? What do you have in mind, asswipe? Buck a man, asshole. That's a little steep. Make it five. You got it. Money in the bank. Money in the bank. Come on, Jeff. He's a looker. Oh, nice, nice shot, Rick. Where you going? Come on, second base, second base. Come on, second base. Come on, second base. Come on, guys. Let's go. Next guy, next guy. Come on. All right, Paul. Come on, Paul. Make yourself useful and bring me home, huh? This little shit will be lucky to make contact. No bad. Come on, Paul. Should have brought my rabbit's foot. Yeah, he's nothing. No bad. Let's go, Paul. Come on, Paul. Let's go. All right, you got it. You got it. You got it. Shit and die, Ricky. Eat shit and live, Bill. Yeah, Bill, he's a little wet. Come on, Bill. Right field, Bill. Right field. Keep your eye on it. Come on, keep your eye on it. Drive him in. Let's go. Let's go, Bill. Come on, man. Do it up. Right there, Bill. Go ahead. Go, 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 go. Wake up, Mo. Wake up, Mo. Shit. Come on, Mo. Got it, babe. Hey, how many are we up by now, anyway? I think it's 8-6. Come on, let's go. Right, no bad, no bad. Come on, man, he can't give a shit, man. Come on, take the bat off your shoulder. Right, yeah, Fuck you! Uh, you tell him too, Rick. You tell him too. Come on, no bad. He can't hit it. He can't hit it. He can't hit it. He can't hit it. What are you gonna do with your big paycheck? I don't know. Maybe I'll get a Corvette or something. How about you? I think I'll take a cruise. <laughs> hey, gee, how about some real competition next time? Yeah, maybe the girls want a game. <laughs> it's okay, we'll get him back. Come on, we'll get him back. Don't worry, we'll get him back. Babes. We 
Who wants to go skiing today with 15 guys and only five girls? Hey, let's ask Angela. Man, I've been watching her all week, and she is fucked up. No way to say. You guys aren't afraid to ask Angela, are you? I think it might be kind of interesting if Angela were around tonight. Good, then you ask her. Oh, I would. Only it wasn't my idea. Hey, and who am I to steal a buddy's great idea, huh? Unless, of course, you guys are chicken! Alright, it's alright, we'll do it. Who knows? We may get married one day. <laughs> nice shot. Say, Angela, we're all going down to the lake tonight. You know, for a little swim. And, um, well, we were kind of wondering if, well, maybe if you wanted to join us or something. What a pro takeover. Listen, Angela, let's say, uh, me and you go for a little walk somewhere. What do we talk about tonight, huh? What's the matter? Can't you talk? I told you she was playing with half a deck. Angela the Nutcake. Ain't that right, Angela? Ain't you Looney Tunes? Hey, Angela, how's this? Mind you of anyone you know? Yo, Angela, how come you're so fucked up? I mean, like, what's your problem? Hey, dick face, leave her alone. Oh, yeah? What are you gonna do about it, asshole? take you over to your infirmary before your mouth gets you in any more trouble. You all right? Yeah, I guess so. Don't worry about it, Rick. We'll get it back. Come on, let's get out of here. Hi, I'm Paul. Remember? I met you last week when we all first got here. Listen. I heard. I mean, Ricky told me all about it. Well, anyway, I'm really sorry about what happened to your family. Me and Ricky, we go back a long time. We've been best friends for three years already. We always seem to get into trouble together. Last year, we hung the girls' panties on the flagpole. Sorry. We got caught anyway. Could be a lot of rocks. Need some new bases. Jerk. And he wants to the bad cops. Then there was this time last year. We locked down Weinstein out of the cabin with no clothes on. Boy, you get it for that one. Okay, bunk 19, time to go. Say your goodnights and move out. I guess I gotta go. Well, good night, Angela. is really warm at night. And what do you say, huh? I don't know, Billy. It's all very simple, right? Why don't you start with Ada? The hell with you, then! You don't know how to have any fun anyway. Come on, boys. I won't, I won't, I'll be serious. I'll be serious. <laughs> <laughs>
Any of you ladies interested in a moonlight canoe ride? <laughs> hey, come on, I won't try anything. I promise. How about it, Betsy? No, I don't think so, Kenny. Leslie's coming down, so you want to ask her? <laughs> Leslie's coming down? <laughs> Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> Easy. Have a good trip. I don't like the way he said that. Are you two planning something? Relax, Leslie. You can trust me. Mike's always screwing around like that. at night. You better not leave your hand in there too long. All the water snakes and snapping turtles come out at night. Yeah, sure. Really? If you fall in, you could be eaten alive. Hey, quit rocking it, will ya? Why? You're not scared of a few snakes and turtles, are you? Kenny, stop it! I'm on the bat. No, if you fall in, we may never be seen again. <laughs> you bastard! I hate you! Hey, that's not a water snake I see over there, is it? seeing you. Hey, Kenny, you scared all the chicks away. That's Kenny. Love him and leave him. <laughs> hey, we better beat it before all those girls get caught and tell Ronnie we're all down here. Is this what you call getting caught with your pants down? Stupid oh, shit. Get out of here. <laughs> Woo. Kenny, let's go. Come on, we're out of here. Fuck him, Mike. He's being a wise ass again. We'll catch him back at the bump. Cheap son of a... As far as I can tell, the boy drowned. Of course, we'll have to wait for the medical examiner to check him over before we can be certain. Of course he drowned. He was horsing around, a canoe tipped over, he must have hit his head. I don't think so. Weren't any bumps or bruises when I checked. Though, again, I'm no expert on this matter. It was obviously an accident. I mean, the boy might have got scared and panicked, right? That could be a logical explanation. So it was one of those fluke accidents we could not have foreseen, and that is all there is to it. I don't know. No. It was an accident! I mean, that's what the... Officer said, right? I said the autopsy will be more conclusive. Right. And you'll call me as soon as you know? You can count on it. If you'll excuse me, I have the unpleasant task of informing the boy's parents. Thank you for your help, officer. Jesus, the man doesn't take no for an answer, does he? I guess he's just uptight about bad publicity. Yeah, I guess so.
Hey, weren't you about to say something just before he bit your head off? I don't know. I was just thinking. I remember that boy being a pretty damn good swimmer. I sure hope you're wrong. Better. Your cousin just whipped me in tennis. I was wondering. You want to go to the movie in the rec hall tonight? I thought we had to go anyway. Yeah, we do. But I meant seeing it together. So how about it? You want to go? All right. Great. Hey. How come Angela gets to talk to the boys all day? And we have to play volleyball. What's she? Special? That doesn't seem fair, does it? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be somewhere? I'm going. See you later, Angela. Bye. Listen, Angela. If you're not going to participate in our activities, then you just sit there and you do nothing. That does not include talking with the boys. You're not a goddamn prima donna, you know? Understand? Big deal. She was talking to a boy. Let's just finish the game so we can get ready for lunch. Yeah, let's. Are you sure you don't want to play? I'm sure. Is there anything you would like to do? Go sailing or something? That's okay. I don't mind watching. 12-7. Mind if I walk you back to your bunk? I guess not. Give me a break, will you? Stop acting so stuck up. Remember all those good times we had last summer? What do you say, huh? Let me walk you back. Not tonight, Ricky. Where are we going? I want to show you something. You're not mad I did that. I'm not mad. I better go in. Can I have another one? You know, another good night kiss. I have to go now. Good night, Angela. Good night. Hello, Paul. How you doing, Judy? You and Angela sure are becoming quite an item. So what? I just didn't think she was your type. <sighs> you know what I mean? I gotta go. <laughs> Boy, did I have a great time tonight. Shh, shut up, will you wake up Mozart? What are you guys doing? You'll see. him up. if you're lucky, idiot. Come on, Chino. He was just kidding. Give him a break. Yeah, give me a break. 
Maybe I should ask Ronnie what he thinks I should do. See you at the end of the summer. Right. And everybody in a bed. That includes you too, lover boy. Yeah, lover boy. <laughs> Guess who? Um, uh, Ricky. Nope. Uh, Bert Reynolds. You're getting warmer. I give up. Surprise. Who are you? Well, well. If it isn't the two lovebirds. Why don't you get out of here? Oh, sorry. She's such a jerk sometimes, isn't she? Uh-oh. Here comes the Wicked Witch of the West. I think I'm gonna go back into the water. Talk to you later, Angela. No, not going in the water again, huh, Angela? What's the matter? Don't you like to swim? Can you swim? Angela! I'm talking to you. Are you going in the water or aren't you? Huh? Angela, I am waiting for an answer. Yes or no? God damn it, answer me, Angela, answer me. God damn it, answer me. What answer the hell's going on here? bitch won't answer me. She never answers me. You're right, Angela? Meg, I want to see you in my shack right at the swim pier, nigga. Back to your post. Getting Meg in trouble. I didn't do anything. You never do shit. Those things are. You could have taken her eye out. 
Ronnie's going to hear about this, and there's going to be no canteen for a whole week. And that goes for you, too, on account of your filthy mouth. What? If I ever hear anything like this again, I'm going to throw the whole bunch of you out of here. And don't think I don't mean it. Get ready for dinner. How do you feel, Angela? All right? She's OK. Better go change before you catch the money. It's almost time to eat. How's he making it up the hill? He's fucking wrinkled old Nine years old. Hey, what are you guys up to, huh? We got a game against the counselors. You gonna play? Sure. I gotta take a wicked dump first, so I'll see you guys down there, all right? Got it. See you later. Shut down. Nobody's ever going to send their kids here again. Why not finish out the summer, Mel? Tomorrow I'll consolidate the bunks. There's no sense in keeping everyone spread out. Yeah. Why well, make things easier for the killer? Hey, don't talk like that. We don't know anything for sure yet. I know. I've known all along. I've seen the hate in his eyes. But I never did anything. Now I'll stop him. For what he's done to me, I'll stop him. Snap out of it, will you, Mel? You're talking crazy. Huh? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just imagining it. Maybe. Scared you, huh? I thought you were the killer. Oh, come on. Don't tell me you believe all that baloney. Yeah, well, what happened to Billy? Somebody was playing a joke and it got out of hand. Now, come on. Let's get out of here before we get caught. We're murdered. Where are we going? To the lake.
Wait till I get my hands on you. Come on, Angela. I'm not doing anything. Okay, let me have your attention for one minute. For the last few days, we've been using the regular activity schedule, and that bites the big one. So today we're going to try something a little different, okay? Like in Color War, you're going to be separated into two groups, and we're going to play Capture the Flag. Okay? You guys have never played before. Gene <clears throat> is going to explain the rules. All right, gangsters, listen up, because this is going to be a lot of fun. Now listen, depending on what team you're on, you're either going to be wearing white strips or blue strips. Now, the guys with the blue strips have to capture the white flag, and the guys with the white strips have to capture the blue flag. Sounds easy enough, right? Now, to capture the flag, you got to sneak into the other guy's territory, capture his flag without getting one of your strips taken off. So the first guys to capture the flag wins. And that's about it. I still don't understand why you got so upset about last night. I wasn't doing anything that bad, was I? I'm sorry, Paul. I just wasn't ready. I just... Hey, I understand. Please don't. What's the matter with you? I have to go. Angela! Angela! Let her go. I really don't know why I keep bothering with her. She's so small. What do you know? I know a lot of things. Angela, you gotta help me. I got a great plan to get their flag. We cut through the woods and sneak up behind them. You go in one way and I go in the other. It can't miss. I don't feel like playing, Ricky. Oh, come on. Help me out, will you? I can't do it by myself. Please. After we get the flag, the game will be over and you won't have to play anymore. Okay? All right, where do we have to go? Follow me. The flag should be around there to pass those trees. You go in from this side and I'll walk around and attack from the other side. They'll never be able to catch both of us. How do I know when to come out? Good question. Tell you what, give me about five minutes and when I see them run after you, I'll sneak out and grab the flag. I hope it works. No sweat, it's foolproof. up already? That wasn't so bad, was it? I guess not. Angela! Angela! Hey, where are you going? You're a real scumbag, Judy, you know that? Fuck you, Ricky. You're just jealous. Same to you.
Mind if I sit here? Angela, I'm really sorry about what happened before. I really am. I don't know what happened. She just wouldn't leave me alone. Come on, Angela. Please, give me another chance, will you? Please. Back together so soon? Boy, Angela, you sure are forgiving. Especially after he told me what a prude you are. That is the word you used. Isn't it, Paul? I gotta go. <laughs> Bye, Paul. He's really no big deal, you know. I mean, he's okay for you. How about a little swim? Huh, Angela? What do you say we get that beautiful bot of yours into the water? Oh, Ricky. Hi, Mel. Seems we uh, haven't had much of a chance to talk. How's your summer been so far? All right, I guess. Just all right? Well, would have been better if there were more guys around. It's kind of hard to get a ball game up now, you know? Yeah. It is a shame so many had to leave. So how about it, Angela? Let's go for a swim. Oh, what's the matter? You afraid? Well, say something, you spoiled little bitch. It's a problem. My good friend, Angela here, doesn't feel like going in the water today. Oh, she doesn't, does she? Well, I think I can fix that. No, stop it! Let me go! Stop it! With all this bad publicity, I don't even see how I can come under the camera. Angela, I asked you a question. Hey, what are you doing? It's like all those other times. You get into trouble, you run to a rescue and try to take care of everybody. How are you going to do it this time? Another drowning or something worse? Hey, what are you talking about? Let me go! I saw you those times. In a wreck room at the water fight, you killed them. Stop it! Destroy me, didn't you? Didn't you? Jesus Christ, Bill, what the hell are you doing? Huh? You're a real peckerhead, you know that, Meg? Schedule for tonight is a social in the rec hall. Those on duty could start bringing your kids up around nine, except for uh, Eddie, who I got some bigger and better things planned. A night off! Even better than that. Tonight you get to take those little darlings of yours on a camping trip on a lake. <laughs> right, yeah. oh, you know, campfires, sleeping under the stars, bacon and eggs for breakfast. Jeez, uh, I can't wait. Okay. As for the rest of you, you roll on tonight, except for, uh, let me see, uh, Jerry and Meg. Any questions? Right. Yeah! What's that? Anybody want to switch? Sorry, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> Have a good evening, everybody. Wherever you are. All right. <laughs> Boy, are you oh. lucky. You ain't kidding. I get your use the night off. You and the rest of us. <laughs> Have to see you later, okay? Okay. You got it. Hey, guess who has the night off tonight? Well, congratulations. Listen, I was thinking. Mm -hmm. Remember that dinner you promised me up at your place? Yeah. Uh, nine, nine thirty. You got it. See you then. Have you 
so happy about it. Got me a date tonight. Oh, yeah? With who? It's a secret. I don't suppose you guys would let me go next, would you? Didn't think so. Hey, Jude! Jude! Jude, is the water still on next door? I guess so. Great. I'll see you later. You set up, and I'll go get some wood for the fire, okay? Can I come, Eddie? What are you, my shadow? All right, all right, come on, let's go. Hi. Do you know where Ricky is? Back at the bunk lying down. He said he didn't feel good after dinner, but he might come by later. Look, Angela, I'm really sorry about what I did. I know I was wrong. But can't you forgive me just this once? Please? I didn't mean what I said about you. I was just pissed off. I swear it. Excuse us, kids. <laughs> Don't they make a lovely couple? I really hate that girl. Please, Angela. I'm really sorry. You know I am. Please forgive me. Please. Meet me at the waterfront after the social. I'll be there. Get it. Eddie! Please, Eddie. I want to go back. I want to come, too. You guys are really pains in my ass, you know that? Please! All right. Up to the car.
seen Meg anywhere? She's off tonight now. Yeah, I know. She was supposed to meet me about an hour ago. Did you check the bunk? Hmm? Not yet. If you see it, tell her I'm looking for her, will you see? So wet. Sorry. Quick, under the bed. Hi, Mel. Hey. You're not going to the social tonight, eh? I'm a little tired, so I thought I might get to bed early. Uh -huh. I'm looking for Meg. Have you seen her? The last time I saw Meg, she was. Going next door to take a shower. When was that? I don't know. After dinner sometime. All right, thanks. You know, you could uh, ruin your eyes reading in the dark like that. Look, I think I better beat it. What? He just got here. I don't know. I just don't want to get caught. Cut the crap, Mike. He won't be back and you know it. You never know. Look, I'll see you tomorrow. Don't bet on it. Chicken shit.
going? Inside to get something to eat. Oh, no. Social's over. Come back to your bunk. I'll give you a break, huh? I've been lying down all night because dinner made me sick. Just let me grab something real quick. Well, dinner was shitty. Just make it snappy. Thanks, Jeff. I'll get them now. Right now, I will. I, I just don't believe it, though. I got you now, you little monster. Now it's my turn. Fuck off of me! Leave me alone! Like you left Penny your belly? Just like you left me! I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. I didn't do nothing. Stop it! I didn't do anything, you crazy fuck! Stop it! I didn't do nothing! Oh, my God. Find all the counselors and have them meet me in my shack right away. I'll go get the ones below. What happened? Just get them. I got him. Just like I promised him, Meg. I got him. Wait. I gotta get away. It can't be. It can't be. I filled them all in. All right, great. Now I suggest you send them all back to their kids to make sure everyone stays inside. Angela and Judy are missing. Oh, no. Hey, what's all the fuss? There's a killer loose. Make sure no one leaves your bunk for any reason. No, Paul and Ricky haven't come back yet. We better go look for them right now. Everybody out in pairs. Look everywhere you can think of, even the empty cabins. Let me get my flashlight. I'm safe standing there. I think you're going to show. Let's go swimming. Now? What about our clothes? Take them off. You guys out here? Hey, you hear something? What? Listen. 
Sounds like singing. Damn it. It's coming from over here. It's Angela. Angela, are you all right? Angela, are you okay? Angela, can you hear me? Enjoy living with us so much. Yes, I know you are. As a welcome home present, I bought you such wonderful new clothes. I just hope that Richard doesn't get jealous that I didn't get him anything. Oh, but then he is such a dear. I'm sure that he won't mind. You see, I've always wanted a little girl. But of course, when my husband left... Oh, well, that's all water under the bridge, as I always say. Water under the bridge. But it certainly will be a nice little surprise when Richard comes home to find a little girl in the house. Yes, I've always dreamed of a little girl just like you. I mean, we already have a boy, so another one simply would not do. Oh, no, absolutely not. A little girl would be so much nicer, don't you think so, Angela? Angela, such a lovely name. Why, I believe it means angel. Why, yes, I'm sure it does. I know you're going to like that name. Won't you, Peter?
Yeah.